Hello guys, welcome back to Ventilate and I hope you are ready. This is going to be the last video for this transcendence and we have only got 12 hours to go. So you need to start crafting your items right bloody now. If you're at past 180,000, craft the best set you can craft right now. Because if you don't do it, you are going to miss out. You will be lagging behind with a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of levels. So make sure you are ready to go. Craft your items, okay? Whatever build you're doing, pet build, shadow clone build, um, heavenly strike or pet build, which is what I am, or whatever other jazz ones that you, I don't know, floats your boats like, you know, the golden gun and stuff. Not really my thing, but hey, if that's what you are doing, craft your shots, craft it right now. Use your, sorry, use your shots to craft your items right now, okay? Make sure you do that tonight. Do not miss out, make sure you do that. Because if you don't, I'm giving a huge warning, you are going to screw this up for the next transcendence. So get ready, buckle in and get going and we are going to be off to the moons. So, tournament update for the first time in a long, long time. Give me a round of bloody applause. I bloody got it. Finally, finally, finally. Back up at number one for the first time in a long time. And I well deserve this, okay? I've been trying to time, 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 time in, time in. And I keep losing it out. And now finally, I'm at that 457,000. Absolutely smacking it, guys. As you guys can probably tell, I'm a lot more energy now. I did have a great weekend of just sleeping and resting and getting back into it as I haven't been working as much. So it has actually given me a little bit of a boost. As you could tell at the AT, mate, I was gone. Absolutely roasted and gone that Friday. I was like barely keeping awake while making those videos, but at least I kept it up. I will not miss it. Sometimes I will have my downtime. Please bear with me because it could be like a, I think I'm pretty sure it was like 2 a.m., 3 a.m. when I was making that video. After working about, say, 50 hours that week, and I still had another 10 to 12 hours the next day to go. So that's why I was so tired, I was so dead. And, you know, even that 50 hour week, I still bang it out, get it all done, smack it, so to make sure you guys get the videos that you need, okay? All right, guys, that's it. Um, look, do what you want with this. It's got another day and 12 hours, whatever, yadi yadi da, 12.95. Blah, blah, I don't care. I'm not getting first place. I do not care. So what? Isn't going to change my life. Isn't going to change your life. It's just going to have your little nice batch at the bottom. Where, where, where is it? Let me show you. Let me show you. Let me show you. It's going to have a nice little batch. Ooh, I'm in the top 10%, top 30%, and top 80%. I think if you're in the top 80%, that's a bit of a shambles, which is mine. The last night, absolute shambles. I didn't even bloody try. But if you're in the top 30%, that's going to be enough. If you're in the top 10%, sure, why not, right? Um, I don't care. I'm not going to get it. So I don't see any on spending diamonds on it. At least back then, it, it really just meant nothing. Um, and diamonds were just like getting to the point where if I have to, I can win the tournament. If not, that's about what diamonds do for me. Uh, but right, right now, what I want to do is continue to get this because we have a very, very long, long, long way to go to get up to this whole look at that list. It just does not stop. And even at the end, you still get 9,999 levels of that. So it is going to go a long, long way. So I'd rather spend my diamonds here and um, use it up here rather than anywhere else. And you know what, guys? Just a little bit of bonus. We're coming to the end of Transcendence. We're coming to the end of the tournament. Why not bang out a little bit and show you guys how much we can get to? All right. Probably spend about, hmm, let's see, 35 down to 35,000 guys or should I go more uh, you know what I'll save it for next I'll get up to 35,000 and I'll bloody stop because I will want to use this oh stop 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 there we go I will want to use this a little bit more in next a tournament or whatever that I enjoy it might be a little bit better but you know what you guys keep complaining you got so much diamonds you don't even use it Hey, it's my diamonds. I bloody use it whenever I want to. If I don't want to, I ain't gonna use it, okay? None of your business. I'm <laughs> just kidding. I just, I don't know. I like to bank up, you know, maybe because it's, I don't know, like bloody Asian thing or something. You know, you don't gotta save up for like a future, you know, blah, blah, blah. I am just saving it for a rainy day. If you ask me why am I saving it, I can't really tell you because I just don't know what's gonna happen next. I, I just want to be prepared. I don't want to be caught out of, out of pocket and I don't want to be caught out of um, 
place where I'm not going to be able to use it. And back then I had like 50, 60,000 and then boom, Titan Souls came and I was using it like crazy because I, I was like, oh, okay, there you go. I finally can use my diamonds for something that's going to help me progress a lot more significantly. So, okay, increase the maximum number of Titan Souls that will appear each prestige, each hmm. Ah, uh, uh, progressing true. Mm, that's okay. Mm, that's okay. Capture and so increase the number of times we capture true progressing. Mm, sounds about yeah. All right. It's all right. It's all right. Right. Tiny so per prestige. It's okay. Okay. Cool. Nothing. Nothing too insane. Increase the maximum number of times that will appear each day. Okay. That could. That could be better. That. That's probably something you want. Um. Yeah. So guys. It's a little bit of a little special sneak peek on me using my diamonds that I drop it in so that you guys get to see what I'm doing rather than just, you know, me doing it in a sneaky background. You have no idea about it. But let me entertain you guys a little bit more with some solo raids because I think I haven't covered a lot of solo raids because, guys, honestly, it is pretty much self-explanatory. It's not that crazy difficult to figure out. But on the other hand, I think it is one of those things that not a lot of people talk about because it's it's not sexy, you know what I mean? You don't get to see any animation, you don't get to see anything crazy, so it's kind of like, oh, you know, it's just, oh uh, yeah, okay, cool, but then that, that's it, you know? So I think a lot of people kind of tend to not talk about this, uh, but hey, since um, no one's said too much, but I, I just gotta make sure at least I have a balanced view of everything so, so that you don't feel like you're getting uh, shorted when it comes to this game, because this is a whole massive facet of the game, right? And a lot, a lot of people talk about it because it is just not sexy. Um, at the end of the day, what I like to do, as you can tell by my combinations, uh, well, this is not really mine, but this is more for, um, what do you call it, like just the random solo race things that you can choose from. I, I tend to go with one affliction, uh, one damage, and one support. That's usually the best kind of combination. Uh, and, and there will be other combinations that will work better as well. Uh, I'm not an expert at it and I would not even come close to trying to be an expert on it. Uh, I just got to get around it not too long ago to figure out exactly what's what and how it works. And I feel like I have a better grip on it now than before. But at the end of the day, you know what? You just got to do the damage. And I think that is the most important thing, as you can tell. Uh, the damage, the affliction, and then at the end is the green one is the support. Uh, gives you a bit of an insight into how it works and guys the rocket barrage is by far the strongest card in the game um, it just continues to increase over time and i think it gets up to i think the highest it got was 600,000 per rocket and that that is just absolutely insane and that's coming towards the end of the 30 seconds because as, as you can tell it starts to build and build and it was a 33 second raid that we had on our clan and that got me up to about 600,000. And there you go, so that's one done. And it starts to increase quite dramatically. Okay, I'll give you a little bit of a breakdown because mine is a bit easy, there's no armors to figure out. And even if there's armor to figure out, what you wanna do to do is look at the actual HP that they have, all right? So it takes, it's about 108 HP to take this Titan down. And you need to look at all the other items. So you have an excess of 36, uh, 32,000. So you can avoid 32,000 of damage, roughly about there. And that would mean you can probably ignore the torso and do the rest, um, or even do some arms and, and legs, torso and head, but just leave a little bit of arms. But today we're gonna leave the um, torso alone. So let's see how we go. And how much was that? 38 for the top. All right, let me just get the head first. Why not? Because this is more of a single target, uh, single targeted sort of card combination. Um, as you can tell, those little fairy things with the bombs, they just increase your damage significantly. As you can tell, like 180, 200, 500,000, you could probably get a couple of that. Yeah, 1.8 mil, a few hundred thousand, 1.3, 1. 1. something mil. Um, the millions do come out pretty strong and look at that 1.8. I think the highest I've done was about 3.5 million or something like that. Uh, pretty significant and there will be some differences to it. And there you go, I think that's about it. Okay, cool. 43, that's pretty solid. As long as I get roughly about the same for the rest. Okay, let's go with this one. It's gonna give me a bit of uh, arms and limbs damage. 
that's what I need because we are going to need a bit more damage on the arms and the limbs. And by the way, guys, this is going to be the end of it. Like, like I said, the transcendence part is done. Uh, the tournament is about to end tomorrow, so make sure you, you target what you have to and get to that uh, situation. If this does not, you know, really entertain you, because for you guys, you know, you might already know exactly how to do it, and some of you might be a better expert at me than doing this. Uh, type of rates definitely if you need to skip this video definitely not a problem drop a like drop a subscribe and i'll see you in the next video however for those of you that want to see me keep progressing and going i will keep going and so at least you know you get a chance to see exactly how i get things done um i, I just really wanted to show you this so that you know you don't feel like you're getting shorted in terms of uh, the videos that you're thinking oh man this guy never talks about rates and well, there you go now i am talking about rates and i know some of you are going to get bored because you know it's really not sexy i like it it's, it's fun you know solo rates are fun but it's really not that sexy guys it's just eh, you know just it's, it's, it's literally who's got the biggest damage and who can smack it out harder and if you can smack it out hard enough then you're sweet to go right and i'm pretty sure that's about it oh i might have screwed that one up I might have screwed that one up guys i might not make it oh what a shambles you saw me fail Wow, 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 wee, wow. Okay, let me try another technique. Let me go with some bloody air damage. And guys, sometimes it works out, sometimes it doesn't. Just move on, you'll be fine. Okay, there we go. Boom, boom, boom. Since I don't have any armor, I'm just gonna attack everything. And with this, it is a little bit tricky. I like doing this, but I don't know if I'm turning it the right way or the wrong way. I'm just basically hitting it one uh, part at a time. And the moment the bomb is actually planted, I just keep moving on and it will start to explode continuously or consecutively towards the last one that you've tapped. And if you re-tap it again, then it restarts the timer and it won't uh, explode again. So I think that's how it works. Uh, I may be completely wrong, but um, that's just my little intuition when it comes to that um, bomby looking thing. What is it called? Uh, fusion bomb. Sorry. Hey, I might be wrong here, but that's how I've been doing it. As you can tell, I'm just trying uh, different combinations. I really couldn't care. Um, I think I'm going to be able to smack it out anyway. Oh, by the way, this new item has been very, very, very strong. I've been actually using this in terms of my normal rates with my clan. Um, it has dramatically increased the damage and it is very, very powerful. Um, the Maelstrom is a very good support, I, no, not support, uh, affliction item. It really does increase the damage quite significantly. So it's kind of like a boost. Um, and then the support is just basically supporting which uh, body part you hit and it does deal a significant amount. There you go, and out of 46, all I need is just another 19 and I am pretty much ready to go. I'm not gonna go with the single one. Let me just go with that and we should be sweet. Oh, there you go. It is a 33 second one, so oh. easy peasy, right? Japanesey, guys. Mm, let me smoke this out. All right, the arms are gone on that. That should be able to finish off. This should be able to finish off. And let me hit the bottom part, and I think we are Gucci. There you guys go. I actually did get it done, whereas the other side was not done, or the other one was not done. And guys, I think I'm just gonna leave it here as you kind of get a, a better deal on, on um, all of these raids and stuff. Oh, by the way, guys, Insanity Void is a very, very strong item. You just gotta make sure um, at least the body parts do not have armor. Once they are unarmored, as you can tell here, it deals more damage if there's unarmored body parts, and the more you have, the better. So six parts or more, it does significant amount of damage. You know what? Let me show you one more. Let me show you one more. When I see that that card, I go, no, say less. I am just going to use it straight away. Without a doubt. Without a shadow of doubt. Oh, look at that. It's making me do about 2.2 million per damage with the, um, whatever the explosive thing. It, it's, it's all right. Like, you know, you see like, oh, it's a big number. But it's like, it's, it's all right. It's not, it's not crazy. But. It does help with the damage of all the other items. Look at that. It's like 50, 25, 40, 40, 30, 12, 16, all over. And in the middle, we're doing 50, 30. So that is significant. 50,000? Yeah, yeah. Sorry, 50 mil? Yeah, 54 mil. So yeah, that's it, guys. I am going to leave it here. Um, don't want to bore you with this before you, you know, run away and uh, bloody unsubscribe on this uh, annoying guy. And look, guys, appreciate your help. 
thank you very much for all of you guys that drop nice comments and all the likes and everything we are starting to get a very consistent uh, amount of people coming back to this so it's really really helping all of you guys and if you want any more help definitely drop a drop a comment and i will try my best to reply to you i don't think i haven't replied to anyone so far um i will try my best to get back to you asap every night and then get to it so that we can get up to date in what is happening that's it for me guys i'm signing out from here catch you all later i'll see you tomorrow bye bye